here under these lights. It's been a while since I've been with you guys and I'm, I'm not used to this studio. I mean quite a number of folks are wondering where I went as of late and other of you, you really haven't even noticed. I could have been rotten away in a North Korean prison for all you know. Well anyway, just to give you a quick update today on what I'm doing and moreover an update on a lot of resources that I want to tell you about, remind some of you about some of these things you've already heard about. I am currently on sabbatical this year. That's what's up, if you hadn't heard. And that's why the last Jesus trip that I posted was last Christmas. And now that we're halfway through 2018, sweltering in the summer heat, I should probably give you a bit of a mid-year report, okay? Although I have been on sabbatical, I still traveled to like 17 countries doing ministry this year. But overall, believe it or not, I really have been able to take a big break and I've done a couple of monastic retreats. That was fun. I went to Thomas Merton's Gethsemane Monastery in Kentucky. Uh, I went to uh, see the Orthodox monks on Mount Athos in Greece. And I've just had lots of time for reading. And my ongoing work in progress, uh, reading for my, my book that I'm, I'm writing on Song of Solomon, which will still be quite some time in the making. So don't expect it to be done this year. But I think that my biggest break what has opened up the most time for me to have sabbatical this year is I've been taking a break from the Jesus Trip videos. And of course I love doing them or I wouldn't do them, but preparing fresh material each week is sort of like being your online pastor without the tithe, okay? And it does take a lot of preparation work. And actually October of this year marks 10 years since we've been doing the Jesus Trip, which is crazy. So don't worry, I will definitely be back with regular installments once my sabbatical rolls to an end. But I would suggest that you go back, watch some of the archives on YouTube. I mean, we've got over 200 Jesus Trip videos, but I know most of you, you won't do that because you think that if it's not freshly cooked up this week, that it's not relevant to you, which is why you don't read the Bible anymore. Well, look, rest assured, I do have something fresh for you this year. Our best resource that we put together for you and that many of you have heard about but a lot of you have not yet taken advantage of, well, now is a great time to do it. And I wanna tell you what it is. I wanna update you about it. We have an e-course that's available where you can plug in with my teachings as well as Baxter Kruger, Francois de Toy, Matt Spinks, uh, Rod Williams, many other great grace instructors. It's our online course, Cana New Wine Seminary. Now, I know some of you have heard about it, others of you maybe not, but the whole theme of Cana has been to draw together uh, many of the threads and focus that we've sought to, to pull together over the years as one unbroken whole, one unbroken stream. Uh, it, it's Holy Spirit saturated. It's grace based. It has a supernatural focus. It's focused on new creation realities. It's rooted in the finished work of the cross. It is mystical. It is contemplative, ecstatic. It's a drunken seminary, and it's Trinitarian. It is joy-filled. It's a course in theology that's rooted in the idea that God's in a good mood. And we drink deep of the infinite exploration of our divine union with Christ. And it's all about the simplicity of Christ and Him crucified. So here in this mid-year, hot summer Jesus trip update, I could not recommend anything better for you guys to stay plugged in with great gospel teaching while I'm in sabbatical mode. So this e-course, although it is theological, you got to understand it, it is a, a, at a level that anybody can participate in it. And, and, and yet pastors will still, who've trained for years, will still be rocked by it as well. So you can watch it at your own pace. It's just one session a week. It's not, it's not a big heavy time commitment. 
But if you're a real double dipper and you want to dive deep, you can take the double course load option and you can actually get two sessions per week at the same time and you can finish the whole course in half the time. So it just depends on how fast you want to go through it. Some of you guys are ravenous. Some of you guys really want to dive into the message, but you've got limited time. And so that's why we put Arcana course as an online course. So just try out the first semester if you want. If you don't want to do the whole first year, uh, go to the website, cana.co, uh, that's C A N A dot C O. It's a two year course and uh, each year is two semesters per year. But uh, I would recommend take a look at it now while you can still catch the early bird discount because if you sign up by September, you get a discount, but it does kick off in October. All right, and listen, we have never had a single person go through the course and regret it. So many testimonies of lives absolutely changed. So uh, anyways, what else to update you guys on here? It's been a while, this is one of the Jesus trip. Uh, I really am dripping sweat right now. It's hot, our AC is out here this summer in lovely Portland, Oregon. Uh, many of you, I, I would say this, many of you do track with me on social media. So I'm still active on social media this year. I usually post on Facebook like once a day. Uh, I spew a lot more off-the-cuff comments on Twitter if you've never found me on Twitter. And also, although I'm not doing the Jesus trip this year, uh, some folks actually don't even know that we do put on a live web conference once a month at thenewmystics.tv and that's called the Inner Sanctum and it's something that we're still doing here even on my sabbatical year so uh, I should tell you about this and actually I want to tell you about a few things so if you're allergic to promotion type things I, I understand uh, nobody really likes that but I've taken lots of time to put together these resources and you might actually realize that you would like to check them out. You just never actually heard about them. So here we go. Just roll with me if you want, whatever. But this whole video today is to clue you in on some fun stuff, okay? So with the new mystics.tv, with the inner sanctum, what we have in this thing, the monthly web conference, we have an online community where each month members sit down with me and we cover every possible topic you can think of. I mean, from baptism to communion to marriage to Christology to Trinity, supernatural miraculous stuff, drunken glory, ecstasy. We've even gone through entire books of the Bible from like a grace lens. It's just a lot of fun. And it's a membership type thing. So you contribute a bit, it's not much, but there are like over 150 archived teachings on there. So you can just like, watch stuff over and over as much as you want, dig as deep as you want, and plus every single month I do a live question and answer session. Okay, so this isn't like a Facebook Live where you just randomly talk to a couple people that pop on to watch. I, I sit down and answer every question that comes at me on these things. And uh, also, some of you guys, you are gospel junkies and you do have the shakes from me not doing Jesus trips this year. And you've noticed that you, you used to watch them every week and that's awesome. We appreciate you guys who, who love the message. And maybe you've watched all 200 plus Jesus trips, but the inner sanctum is different, okay? These are full length teachings. And I'm a little more loose. It's a little more like a behind the scenes. I probably joke around a little more flippantly than I should at times. And, and I stuff that I, I wouldn't get away with in the pulpit maybe comes out on the inner sanctum. And it's actually kind of the first place that I'm, I'm hashing out fresh material uh, each month. And so you sort of get into my thought process a bit uh, before I'm actually putting big messages out you know, in events and that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, that particular resource, the Inner Sanctum monthly thing, is available at thenewmystics.tv, all right? So there's that, there was Cana, there's the, the uh, monthly web conferences, and, and moving on, while I'm on sabbatical, uh, I, I would encourage you guys, okay, this is a good time to pick up a few of the books that I've written over the years, because a lot of people, they're asking me questions, and they want me to explain these deep concepts uh, in a two-line social media post that I know they're going to filter through their existing paradigm and there's no way I can explain it in two sentences when these are topics that I have covered extensively in my books. And I cover things in my books that are controversial, that are misunderstood. I always like to bring revelation where revelation is needed. That's always been my heart, to really try to help people, not just come up with something to, to have a crap to sell, okay? So let me just point out a couple of these books. Because I'll, I'll just briefly run through all these books because some of you, maybe you never read, read these things. Um, my first book, if you like supernatural church history, stories of people levitating, communicating with animals, crazy, bizarre, miraculous stuff that's outside of our logical paradigms, check out my first book, 
the new mystics all right that's what that one is about and I would actually recommend that you read these in order if you can because you can see the development of my thought on many of these issues and it's not that I totally turn tail and reverse course on a lot of things it's more that things get developed over time so my next book the ecstasy of loving God which is all about ecstasies trances contemplation experiencing God what often we call the the practice of the presence of God you know most churches they believe in Father Son and Holy Bible but there is a real tangible intoxicating Holy Ghost and it's the wine of God's love that's what this is all about that 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 drunken glory it's, it's got tons tons of church history in here, showing how manifestations and ecstatic experience, uh, how it happened through so many, uh, the beginning of so many denominations, the great awakenings, uh, uh, revivals throughout church history. And so it's not just the Catholic mystics and the charismatic Pentecostals flopping on the floor, okay? So this book is still uh, one of my favorites, all right? And then also we have uh, this one here. Uh, this one is Mystical Union. And this is all about your identity. This is all about the new creation realities, your effortless uh, freedom in the gospel, your perfection, your, your freedom from the sinful nature. This is actually the core foundational message that I carry. As a matter of fact, if you haven't read this, you're probably wasting your time with a lot of Jesus trips anyway. Okay, get this foundation, guys. Otherwise, you're just going to be confused. This one, out of anything that I've ever written, you need to read that, okay? Uh, and this one here, this is a unique one. This is called Seven Spirits Burning. Now, there are a lot of charismatic gurus today. There are even guys trying to teach that the seven spirits of God are some sort of created sentient beings, or they've got all these little words they use, mystical tutors or whatever. Uh, but th th these are not God himself. Let me tell you, these guys who preach this, they have never cracked a Bible, okay? This is an important book that I think is not just for the charismatic church at this time. Even though I wrote it a few years ago, this is a book for right now if you're a charismatic. And it covers a very mystical topic that many people have wondered about, the seven spirits of God from Scripture. There are not seven gods. It's the sevenfold spirit of God. So this one... It will actually open up a lot of scripture to you that you never saw about Holy Spirit before, but it also has lots of fun, strange, supernatural stories and testimonies as well. Okay, so if that's the thing you've ever been curious about, what are the seven spirits of God? What are the size of Crowder's beard? What do you mean? The next two books uh, are really meant to be read together. Um, these two, this one, Cosmos Reborn, and this one, Chosen for Paradise. Now, be careful with these because they will throw a monkey wrench into the cog work of your theological system. So I would recommend that you take these, especially take this one kind of slow, all right? And I would recommend not just quoting it right away on Facebook, okay? People are always asking us about hell or they heard some rumor that I'm a universalist, okay? I'm not a universalist, but I fully believe in the universal work of the cross. So in Cosmos Reborn, we tackle all sorts of sacred cows. We look at uh, all these different unbiblical versions about the doctrine of hell. You know, everybody thinks I'm writing off the hell they so know and love. Uh, we tackle issues like faith. Is faith the one surcharge to the gospel, the one price tag, or is faith a gift? We look at the atonement. Was Jesus paying off an angry father, or have we just misunderstood the cross altogether? This one has so much packed into it, okay? And it's going to raise the age-old question, do we choose God or does God choose us? Because whenever you talk about hell and the afterlife and all this, that's always the question. Am I saved by my willpower, by my choice, by my decision, or by his choice, by his will, by his decision? And if it's all him, then what about non-Christians? Did he choose them to go to hell? So what I do is I tackle theology's biggest problem, the biggest problem that theology has had for centuries, predestination versus free will, and I challenge it, I deal with it in the shortest book that I've ever written, okay? 
Uh, none of you have probably ever even read a book on election, which is <laughs> probably why you're duped by somebody's theology without even knowing it. Look, everybody has had one of these perspectives forced on them, okay? So in order to get you to read this book, because you would think, why would I read a book on election? I figured, hey, I'll put naked people on the cover and, you know, give it a little bit of sex appeal. And if you think this is gonna make you lust, remember these are your grandparents, pervert, okay? Just get the book, you need this book, all right? You have, again, been influenced by theology without even knowing it. So this is a good theological, religious detox here, okay? Now, um, how can I say that you need any of these books? It's kind of arrogant, but look, nobody's teaching this stuff. I mean, many great theologians are teaching a lot of this stuff, but not always in a language that you can understand. And again, many of you guys, you, you haven't read these books, so I'm just giving a quick synopsis here on the Jesus Trip update so you can pick them up. And if it sounds like a commercial, sounds like a commercial, John, well, well deduced, Einstein. I told you that from the beginning. But of course, look, I want you to get this stuff. And it's not just because I get 10 bucks off a book or something. It's because the church is touting in its fundamentalism uh, things that it's clueless. It's clueless about the most foundational things. We need some fun. Put the fun back into fundamentalism. Look, you can check out all these books. You can find them online at our online store, johncrowder.net. Okay? Make a note of it. And go back, watch this video again, consider each one of these resources that I've mentioned because we got so much stuff. And you can actually uh, participate in each one of these things. You could join Cana Seminary, starts this fall. I mentioned Cana.co. Be part of our monthly web conference as well, on top of that. And you can get all these books, johncrowder.net. We got a lot of stuff out there. Okay, as a matter of fact, there are also many full-length audio download teachings you can get also at the, the store, johncrowder.net. And we've got a, a Joypod, like an MP3 player that has every single thing from our download store. Everything's packed onto that one player, as well as two of my audio books, Mystical Union, as well as Money, Sex, Beer, God. Oh, did I forget about that one? Looky here, my latest book, Money, Sex, Beer, God. All of your favorite subjects in one volume. So many people are trying to run a spiritual race. They don't even know how to be part of the human race. Look, the reason we have all these problems with booze and cash and boobies is not because they're evil. The fact is God made earthly pleasures. But the issue is that we pervert them when we don't filter these things through a biblical paradigm through which they're meant to be enjoyed according to his design. So this book is very incarnational. It attacks that religious Gnosticism that invades so much of church culture as if God is against your humanity. No, he endorses your humanity. And I probably laughed more writing this book than any other. So there you go. All those things are available at johncrowder.net. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to see you guys again on here before the end of the year, but who knows? Uh, so I should probably give you maybe a little bit of a, a heads up on a few, and I mean few, events that I'm still doing during my sabbatical. Okay, I'm only doing a couple things for the rest of this year. If you're in Europe, you're lucky because you have a chance to catch myself, C. Baxter Kruger, and worship leader Godfrey Bertel, all three of us, for an event in Aberdeen, Scotland next month in August. It's a conference called Rediscovering the Gospel. And also, I only have one mystical school in the entire world, and it happens to be in Europe as well. It's my main supernatural equipping event. It's going to be in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Okay, so wherever you are in the world, Europe or beyond, if you want to catch a mystical school, you need to pop into Northern Ireland. Both of those events, Scotland and Ireland, are both in August. All right, August 2018. Also, there is only one event in America this year, and that's in September. I'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada for Scandalous Love with Baxter Kruger, uh, Zach Wexler, and Harold Eberly. And it is going to be packed out, so make plans early. The website for that is scandalouslv.com. So there you go, Scotland, Ireland, and Las Vegas. And that's me done for events this year. You can find all that stuff at our website, The New Mystics dot com slash schools okay i do 
Still have an addiction to hanging with poor people though. So I, I am going with just a handful of guys. This is not an open trip for anybody, but I am personally going to the Philippines this fall to visit our new children's home. We recently just built a new home for orphans there. We also have our orphan home in India. And you know, orphans do still like to eat even when I'm on sabbatical. So we would be super blessed and you would be super blessed if you guys would consider partnering with us financially. So I'm throwing this out here to you guys. Maybe you're already a monthly partner or maybe you have been in the past. You guys, you help all our kids in India and in, in Philippines and actually help support trips like these and trips that I'm going to the sketchy places where I can't even take teams. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in the Middle East next year and some places I can't even mention online. So for, for those of you guys who like to sow into the poor, I don't pull offering cards on these Jesus trips or whatever, but if you, you guys who know, you like to sow in the glory, you like to sow in the supernatural, you like to sow and invest into intimacy and Sabbath rest and the gospel. Man, if, if you don't think we're good soil, that's fine, but if you do wanna run closer with us, consider partnering with us. And we fully believe in New Covenant, Pauline, supernatural sowing and reaping wholeheartedly. So visit our webpage, thenewmystics.com slash partners. And finally, guys, the last thing that I should mention, there actually is one mission trip that we just opened up last week for anybody who wants to apply. The trip's coming up next year. We are doing a Russian gospel collusion mission. It's next summer, and I'm telling you guys, I love my Russian brothers. They say, John, you are one of us, Ivan Ivanovich. It, it, Russia is possibly the drunkest place on the planet. Man, they love renewal. They love the river of God. It is crazy over there. Such a heavy weight of glory. So we're actually taking a team to four countries, June 2000. 2019. So we're going to hit two spots in the middle of Russia, but we're also going to go to Moldova, Ukraine, and Latvia. And these things fill up fast. We already have folks signing up and it's still a year out. So if you want to be part of the Russian collusion, don't sweat the money. I'm sweating right now, but I ain't sweating any money, all right? You've got ages to raise the cash. It's a year out. Just take a step of faith. Put your deposit in. Lock in a spot, okay? And that'll set the ball rolling for you to be prepared when it rolls around. So visit our website, thenewmystics.com slash Russia. There you go, guys. That's it. Check out Cana. Check out the monthly webinars, the online bookstore, the events, Vegas, Scotland, Ireland, and become a monthly partner. If you've never done that, or maybe you were in the past and your, your card failed and it's bouncing now or whatever. Hey, I'm not calling you up and harassing you. Hop online, be a partner again. Join us also physically so we can squeeze you and chew on your chubby little cheeks in Russia next summer, okay? It's gonna be fun. There's lots of ways to plug in, lots of ways to be a part, okay? So rest and peace and the grace of the gospel fire, the heat, and the warmth of God in your souls. And guys, enjoy checking all this stuff out. And I will see you somewhere on social media. Until then, uh, until the Jesus trip is rolling again, bless you all. And uh, may the Holy Ghost be with you.